So, hey there, guys. I'm Seth with According to Seth. Um, today, I'm joined by Zeph, uh, by Jeff Zimbalis on his new film, Skywalker is a Love Story. Um, thank you for meeting with me today. How are you doing, Jeff? My pleasure. I'm doing great. Thank you. I, uh, I'm i excited to check this movie out. Um, I wanted to find out, because I know, obviously, it's getting its premiere at Sundance. Um, what was... You know, what was it about this story that, you know, gravitated you towards it? Um, I watched The Line and actually uh, remastered last night. And just from reading about this incredible story, it obviously seems a little different than some of your past work. So just wanted to kind of dive into that a little bit. Sure. Yeah, there's kind of two questions in there. Um, the origin story of this project was that when I was young, my teenage years and my 20s, um, I did a lot of trespassing. I would dress up as a ninja and climb onto <laughs> the roofs and sneak into the tunnels um, of major cities. And, you know, it was a way I made sense of the landscape around me. Um, I loved the unknown of these spaces that they, they were outside the sort of machinery of society. And in these places, I could define them as I wanted. And it really helped me to confront fear and and figure out a lot about my own sense of self. Um, when I found out that there were other people putting on balaclavas and trespassing onto the roofs of buildings all over the world, in fact, some of the highest buildings in the world, um, and that this had a name, it was called Rooftopping, um, I took off my balaclava and put on my journalist cap and started tracking the rise of this phenomena um, looking for stories that resonated deeply with me in the way that that this activity had had helped me. And uh, 15 years later, I found um, Ivan Birkis and Angela Nicolau and thought, yes, this is the story I've been waiting for in this space. And this is a love story on top of the world um, where, you know, extreme climbing can be used as a metaphor for romantic trust. And um, I went out and well, I reached out to them. I went out and did some filming, put together a sizzle reel, got my friends at XYZ Films and Library Films on board. They took the leap of faith to finance this with me. And uh, we filmed for seven years. Um, and it was uh, a bunch of unexpected twists and turns in the story. Um, the big one being the war and COVID uh, and how that affected their livelihoods and what they decided to do as a result climaxes in this incredible thriller um, that you know, we're excited to share with audiences at Sundance. Uh, as far as your, <clears throat> your, your other question, you know, I, I have for many years been doing projects that are more journalistically based um, where we're investigating uh, very high stakes crimes and, um, and politics. And uh, telling both sides and making sure that we that we are doing our job of balanced storytelling. And I love those projects because I think we all exist as humans in the gray areas. We all have our flaws and our 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 moral um, uh, you know our our moral ground is shifting underneath our feet at all times. Um, but I also think that we're in a really trying time in the world right now where there are so many stories in narratives, you know, reinforcing um, this fear of trusting others, that there's violence and deception and betrayal around every corner. And so we naturally put up our armor and we don't lean into others. And, you know, my hope with Skywalkers is that it affects others like it affected me, which is that it encourages us to take that leap of faith, to unite across our differences um, particularly when it's the scariest thing to do, because that's what our characters do, right? They, time and time again, um, they choose, even when the stakes are life and death, to come back to each other. And I hope that that's what this film does, is it helps us to come back to each other, to trust others again. Um, that's what the world needs, is for more of us to come together. That's awesome. And that that's really cool that that's kind of like the picture that you want to paint for it is, you know, letting yourself be open to others and, you know, finding that love and things like that. I think that's really cool, especially with, you know, everything like you said going on today. I think that's definitely very important. Right. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I hope so. I mean, you know, it is not an easy, superficial, um, you know, spectacle. It, it's tough. And, you know, love is, Love is hard. Love wrecks us, man. There's danger <laughs> in love all the time. Like we, we get crushed by it. Our 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 you know our 
our hearts, our hopes, our sense of self, our self-esteem are all broken by love. Every time any of us chooses love, it is a major gamble. And here in this story, that gamble becomes material because the choice to trust the other person literally is life or death. Um, and so it's just a really fertile ground to explore not just what love can be when it's flourishing, but also how to navigate the hardships of love. Yeah. Um, obviously, you said you filmed over seven years, um, which is pretty awesome. What uh, was there a moment during those seven years that you were like, I can't wait for everybody to see this one moment that like really stuck out to you? It's funny because here we are two days before the premiere and uh, we just hit send on our screening DCP for for the festival to play. So I'm the kind of person where I don't celebrate things. and I don't get ahead of myself until we're there. And uh, even if it feels like, oh, my God, we made it to Sundance. <laughs> or, oh, my God, we just sent the DCP. I, I still am like, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. So, <laughs> no, I don't I don't I don't get I don't get ahead of myself. Um, I stay very head down and focused on the task at hand. And, you know, with projects that last this long, the hardest part is waiting for events to happen in your characters' lives that are worthy of story points. You know, I'm yeah. not someone who's um, often doing sort of character portraits um, or slices of life. You know, I I really want the plot to 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 develop to advance, and in a story like this, which is genuinely cinema verite, you have to wait for those things to happen. And so, you know, finding independent finance who's willing to wait with you and be patient and make strategic choices rather than sort of reverse engineer it into a timeline for a broadcast date, that's really the hardest thing. Um, and luckily, I had a great team on this one to do that with me. And Maria, who um, is my my lead producer as well, um, I'm also a producer and she's a co-director. She basically moved to Russia and Asia and China and all the places that Ivan and Angela were traveling to and just live with them during this time. And that allowed us to shoot over 70 days um, uh, across many, many years. So that that was a blessing. That's awesome. And uh, last couple of questions here that I have for you is, uh, you know, obviously making the climb that Angela and Ivan did, uh, you know, wasn't always legal and it could get them in some serious trouble. So how how do you navigate something like that? Was there any scary moments that you faced, you know, as being the director um, and things to kind of ensure that you and your team stayed safe as well? Yeah, it was um, incredibly important and a top priority from the beginning that nobody got hurt um, on this production. Uh, you haven't seen the film yet, so I won't spoil yeah. <laughs> it too much, but there are some injuries. Yeah. They're not to the crew. Um, they're to our characters and, um, and they're fine. They're, they're not Good. big injuries, <laughs> uh, but we had a really strict safety protocol. We communicated with our characters' families. We got um, we got written permission from all of them to do this. Um, we were incredibly uh, detailed about where and when our crew could be involved and not involved. You know, we developed a deep, deep trust and friendship with these characters. Um, unlike these balanced journalist stories we were talking about a minute ago, in this one, I really am rooting. For Angela and Ivan, um, but you, you know, you also need to maintain that professional distance so that you can be each other's checks and balances. And there are times when they said to me, "That idea is too dangerous. That's crazy, Jeff." And I'd be like, "You're right. No, you know better. You're the yeah. expert." And then there was a lot of times where I said, "I'm not supportive of what you're talking about there. That seems too risky." So we were we were there helping each other to stay safe. Um, there are a lot of daredevil people in this space that are risking their lives in ways that Ivan and Angela never would and we would never stand for. Um, they're much more artists on heights um, who do acrobatic stunts and they're incredibly well trained and they've got many, many years of experience. So um, that was always at the forefront of our mind and we're just so grateful that we got through it with everyone in one piece and really excited and that they, you know, that they've accomplished um, far more than we ever could have imagined going in. Awesome. And last question to wrap things up. Is there anything that you want the audience to know, you know, going into this film when they see it? Obviously, it's going to premiere at Sundance and then they'll have the release later on. Is there anything that you want everybody to know before they go see this? Um, it's it's a 
if you have vertigo, it's a tough film to watch. So <laughs> I, I, uh, I commend you if you can make it through and face your vertigo the way that Ivan and Angela face their fear. And yeah, no, I really hope that people in watching this film reflect on how it resonates for them personally. You know, if you're um, in a relationship, um, maybe it encourages you to lean in more to your partner. If you're not in a relationship, maybe it encourages you to be a little bit more open, a little more vulnerable, a little bit more trusting and take that leap of faith and in getting into one. Um, if you can't find the right person, maybe this is a way of saying that um, that you will. And so all of those messages are in this film. And it's so exciting to be able to uh, engage with audiences about a topic we all have so many thoughts and feelings about, which is romance. Yeah. Um, and I, I've never made a, a romance film before um, in the documentary space. So I, I can't wait to hear people's feedback. Please reach out. Let me know what you think. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank and you, man. Yeah. I can't wait to see the film and everybody else to see it as awesome, well. Awesome, man. Yeah, really great to talk with you, Seth. Thanks so much. <laughs> Bye-bye.